Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And I have a lot of people that have been mentioning uh, this in the past uh, 48 hours, uh, and it's the uh, .NET Framework updates. Now, it's very interesting because we've got the .NET Framework updates that were technically released on Patch Tuesday. And on both my Windows 10 and my Windows 11 machine, if I look um, and I go to Windows Update in the update history, I see that the .NET Framework updates were done June 13th, which was Patch Tuesday. And a lot of you have had the .NET Framework appear in the last couple of days. And of course, I made a video about the uh, out of bound or the out of um, cycle update that is also done with .NET Framework on um, some for manual download. Uh, because the out-of-cycle updates are never released with Windows Update. So some of you are wondering, is it the new one? Is it the... I would guess it's not the new one because Microsoft really sticks with the fact that new out-of-cycle updates are usually done within the... Um, w w manually. But, you know, Microsoft, we never know with Microsoft. And there are some cases where it might be bizarre. What I would suggest is that in Windows 10 or 11, go view your update history uh, and search for the .NET framework. Is it, was it installed on the 13th with Patch Tuesday? If not, that would explain why you're getting it now, because it's the Patch Tuesday .NET framework updates. But why now and why so late? It's, it's kind of weird, but you're not alone because from what I see, the number of comments I've seen, and I've received a few emails also, a lot of you are getting .NET Framework updates. And yet on my two Windows 10 and my three Windows 11 machines, all of them are just, they just got the .NET Framework on Patch Tuesday, the 13th. None of them are getting new .NET framework updates. One of those weirdnesses. The important thing is that the updates are done. Um, you know, regardless of how many times or because I even have a few of you that say that you got the .NET framework yesterday, got another one. One thing to make sure of, and that could be an explanation for one, is that there's a .NET framework 4.8 and one 4.8.1. If you got it twice, it could be simply that you moved to 4.8 and then you move to 4.8.1. Maybe that's something that you can check for. But regardless of whatever, uh, you know, as long as it's installed and it works, I think that's the, uh, the important thing here. And the rest of the PC works fine, uh, not to worry about it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.